Hi, welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. This tutorial is about editing boundaries. In order to use this functionality, I loaded this object and I'm going to select the mesh and select Edit Scan. The Edit Boundaries option is available into the main dialog. And the main idea is you, if you want to improve the quality of the boundaries. Yes, this is, can be treated as a whole, but in some applications you may want to keep this and just improve these boundaries. Let's see how it works and what the features are. I click Edit and then you get the control dialog of the edit boundaries. What we can do here, we can navigate the same like in the house editing with these uh, buttons. Also, you can see this um, quick uh, dialog on the screen where this functionality is the same. You can just go and track the different boundaries. What I can do here is just when this is selected, I can just press the smooth boundary. This will actually improve the boundary and smooth with the algorithm that a Quick Surface provides. In order to pick another boundary, I can just select this one and apply smooth. Now, when I have this uh, functionality, I can select this boundary and apply smooth. Now, the problem here is that I want to have a better control over this process. I'm going to press undo in this case. What I'd like to do is separately just to have the smoothing of this part, this part, and so on and so on. So what do we have here is the ability to create a, what is called an anchor point. You can select this mode with selecting the anchor point and then go to the place where this anchor point should be and click on it. Then I can pick this one for example. Also, when I go back to select mode, I can just move over and if I just drag this anchor point, it will disappear. Or I can just take it and try to pick and reposition to a different position. There is a shortcut if you want while you are in select mode to add an anchor point. If you just hold the control key, you can see this pen appears, so you can just use this to create your anchor points. In this example, I just want to pick these corners because I want to fix them. I don't want them to move. This will give me much better control over the whole process. Like this. And then I can create the anchor points here. Again, if you want to delete, you can just move over, drag this away and it will disappear. With the control, I can add my anchor point. What we have here is now much better control. What I mean is if I just hover, you see it select a sub-boundary. I can just select this one and smooth this specific one. So this gives me way better uh, control over the whole process. The other thing we should go through is the smooth strength. If you want to control how um, much the smoothness should be, or if you want, you can just smooth several times. Another option is that you can just double click and it will apply smoothing. In this way, if you have more complex shapes, you can just improve the boundaries. Or, in this case, I can even say smooth everything and this will apply on O. I can just press Ctrl Z now to <coughs> return to my previous shape. So, you can practice yourself with our example file what a uh, good example for this I would recommend is if you go to help examples and you load the aerosol knob. This is a typical example where you want to improve these boundaries and I'll leave this exercise to you. I would like to show you also another functionality by loading this object and I'll explain how the power of this boundary editing can play take place. This is an example of a shape that it's properly aligned. The coordinate system is perfectly here. What I want to do is to create a mirror of this mesh and then 
stitch it together and create a single solid. Let's try to do this. I will just select the mesh, go to scan data and select mirror. By default it takes XY plane, which is what I want, but you can play with the different um, you know, planes depending on your project. Now I'm happy with this and what I need to do is just make sure that the keep original is selected on and this will create a mirrored mesh for me. The next step I need to do is combine these together by selecting the first one with the control key select the other one right click and select merge. This will merge everything and put it together into a single mesh. But this does not automatically connect them. What I mean is if I just go and edit the mesh, you see there is a hard boundary here, which means that the points are not actually connected. Also, if whatever algorithm I use, I don't want to have this sharp connection here. I want this to be nice and smooth. Let's see how we can solve this problem with quick surface. I'm going to close this for now and we'll create a reference plane by constructing a plane. By default this plane is again on XY plane which is perfectly fine here and I'll create. I will drag the plane to make it much bigger than the, the object and we'll go back to edit the mesh. What we have as a functionality in our software is something which is called split the mesh with the other primitives which is available here. By default because it was pre-selected the plane it will appear here but if it's not available you just click on the plane and this will be will appear here. What we have here is the following. We can tell the software to do the envelope, which means we will eat and delete everything around this uh, uh, plane. In this case, probably one millimeter is too much, so I can play with 0 0.5 millimeters. Press preview, let's see what's going to happen. And the algorithm, the way it works, is it just takes everything which is closer to 0 0.5 millimeter and trims it away. So it makes a really nice cut out of uh, this. So what I have here is the two uh, separate bodies but they are not connected. You see they are individual meshes. We have four holes because uh, we have something inside here. I will hide the plane and I'm going again to the boundary edit mode. And here is the point to introduce our next functionality which is called the zip boundaries. Zip boundaries it's a simple algorithm that will take, if you can see the cursor become, it says one, so I can pick the first one and then I can choose the second one and it automatically will interconnect this in a simple algorithm. It's what is called zipping. You know, so this is how we close this uh, gap. And of course I can do the same on the other contour. And as you can see, I managed now to create one single mesh and there are no holes. So you can see the power of the zipping. Now I don't have a nice and beautiful example. We'll go back to the normal sheet metal and uh, we'll play with this in a fancy way. What I mean is I will just go and edit the scan and with a simple selection we'll just delete something here that I don't need. As you can see now, if we go to boundaries, if I try to zip the two, there is no uh, proper way. So I want to have more control of this process. Let's see how we can do this. If you remember, we have the anchor points, which means I can just hold control and define one here, and we'll define another one here. And in the same way, we'll do the same on the other side. Now we have these anchor points, which means we have what is called the sub-boundaries. And then the zip will work in the same way. I can just pick this one, this one, and it will connect them. The same way, let's do this on the other side. Control to add this anchor point here. Lift the control key 
pick this boundary, pick the other one, and it will just um, connect them. So this is not something very clever algorithm or something, it just connects. So I recommend when you do this, you keep really small distance between them. But this gives you control over the connection, you don't need to merge it, and you can achieve really good results. I hope this video was useful for you to learn more about quick surface. Thank you for watching.